What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's look, it's Michael. Hey. Guys, look at Michael. Look at him. We're doing a little draft of the vintage Cubals. I what? bet you're going to take Bizarre of Baghdad because it's your favorite card. Do you think that's my favorite card? No. I think I've never put a Bizarre. I put a Bizarre of Baghdad into play like one time and I hated every second of it. I think even when it's good in your deck, you, you hate it so much you won't take it. I kind of want to play this. Okay. I, mean, I think the best pick is probably... My Could least favorite phrase in Magic is draw X cards and discard X plus one cards. That is my least favorite. What did you say? I wasn't listening. I blacked out. Uh, I said Kijiki is probably the best pick. I think Pestermite's the best pick, and I think Kiki will probably oh, come back. Oh, sure. But where's the fun in that, you know? But I kind of want to just take this. Isn't she really hard to flip? She, you don't flip her. She's literally the one that prevents oh. the enters the battlefield triggers. Oh, there's a lot of those. There's those, a lot of there's yeah. like five new Alesh right. and in they one also set, cost so. a similar amount of mana. And you know, it's a whole to do, man. It's a hard knock life. I kind of want to take dark depths and see if we can dark depths. There's no ETB stuff in here, so <clears throat> go for it. She she doubles your ETBs, yeah. Yeah, and then they don't get to any of that. Yeah, rude. It's also any permanent, not just creatures. Very hard to flip, considering it would be illegal. <laughs> Do you think if I go to bed now, this will be the time the VOD will be on Twitch for me to finish in the morning? I don't know. You're asking a lot, Nick Joseph. That's handled by the robots. Colony? Nick and Joseph are both two commander names in Handmaid's Tale. Did you know that? Commander Nick and Commander Joseph? No, I did know that. He's got the name of two commanders. I guess it might just be Windswept Heath or Colonnade. Like I do too. ETB like stuffies. <sighs> stuffies. Also, Christian, how do you feel about that, that stip? Was it was it reasonable? Did you hate it? Was I close? No. Better than remand? What are you on? Medication? Yeah. <laughs> There's no Commander Frank. Coincidence? I should really go to the doctor to check on my blood pressure again. <laughs> That's so fucking random. Actually, I really like Ketria Triumph. Oh, no. I thought this was... Um, that was very... I just remembered because you said medicine, and I thought about my real life. And they were like, we're going to do this thing where you don't take the medicine for like a couple months to come see me back. But then I haven't done that part where I went back yet. Come see me back. I didn't die yet, though, so... Fuck, that's cool, dude. And they did think the... It's like Relic here. Uh, apnea machine will probably fix that for me. Knight so. of Autumn. Give it to me. Give me your knight. I want to be Bant, because Bant is obviously the best colors for for blinkers. You're right. Bant is for blinkers. That's what I always say. I want to take this Wandering Emperor. That card's really good. It was even almost banned. Fakely. Oh, Time Warp? Give, give Daddy his warps. I can't stay up. I get almost sick. Yeah, it's tough. Did someone say you have to stay up? I, I think it's fine if you go to bed. Uh, so are wood steel too, theoretically. I don't 6 know how it's programmed. On a Sunday? I'm going to church. Flicker Wisp. Yeah, so I've also been getting notifications. I got a notification from Twitch, and it literally says, uh, warning, copyright audio detected. And it mentions the audio from my countdown screen. Like the Ennio Morricone um, Western music. That's what it mentions. And I'm just like, are you serious? <laughs> so I don't know if they like block them. I do. Flicker Wisp is kind of neat, I guess. Oh, wow. Kiki, you came back. Kiki, come back. I think Ravages of War. You want to be the Ravages deck, Michael? I took the jeeks. I'll take this this Gijin. Yeah, but now it's like, please review the VODs. Review your other VODs, whether they include... Uh, it says, like, as precautionary step to reduce your risk of receiving uh, DC, DMCA takedown notification in the future, your default stream settings were updated to store new VODs in an unpublished state for you to review first. And I'm like, cool. Also, the DMCA, doesn't someone have to, like, strike you for that to matter? I don't know, dude. It's really obnoxious that it's... Twitch started doing this because I'm like, I, I don't give a fuck about, I honestly don't care about my, my Twitch VODs. This is why I don't play music on my YouTube videos as it is. But, like, 
I just have some music on like the five minute countdown screen. So it's not just absolute silence. And people know when that music stops that I've, I've switched the screen. Play it slower or pitch shifted or something. I think that works sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It'll sound weird, but, or play your own version on a guitar. That's smart. A lot more work, though. You're a lot more work. Yeah. This is a very interesting first pack. We might have gone too deep on the Eleshnorn, but what are you going to do? You know? We were like, Eleshnorn, and then we're like, nothing that goes with it. <laughs> Keep on going. Woo! I'm just laughing at Tiger Nate <laughs> misspelling Santa. That's kind of funny. Summon the Santa. Can't Twitch cut your countdown off so you don't... So the video, they probably don't know how to do that. I think they just block the whole video because they just think it's part of a video. Like, they don't know. There's probably a way you can do that, but, man, so generous. No, you. Sometimes. Maybe. When I had money, I would be like, here's a dinner. And now I don't have any money, so, you know. It's worse. Oh, someone responded. My VODs get unpublished all the time. I publish them anyway, and all that happens is they mute my... Oh, that's that's great. That's good to know. So you don't got to do anything? Magic Marker Studios, appreciate you, buddy. Well, no, I have to go publish them manually. Didn't you listen? Are you even listening? I don't know. I just think... <laughs> I mean, Noble Hierarchs, Deeds... I mean, I think... But it's Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, that's your argument every time. Even <laughs> Have you read the card? Do you think the format is a little faster sometimes? I don't know. I guess it depends on the map. Are you guys actually advocating for Paradox Wave in this deck? <laughs> it's like three drop, four drop, five drop. I'll bounce one thing. I'll be honest. Not a fan of the P Wave. If you know what I mean. No. Nick Joseph, have a good night, buddy. Yeah, get your sleepy pie. It'll be on the, the things and the VODs and the YouTubes and stuff, you know? Get your sleepy... Oh, you're talking to him. I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, what do I do? I don't even... I don't I need I wasn't my talking to you. <clears throat> this is a conversation between me and Nick Joseph, 77. <laughs> Why did you laugh at that? What's, what's funny about that? Nothing. Is Nick Joseph a joke to you? No, he's turned it around on me. I gotta go. Vencer's <laughs> uh, pretty good with Blinkies. I'm just looking at the new variants in the... In the Marvel Snap store. Fencer is good with a blinky. Teferi's just good. Minsk and Boo are just absolute bananas. You ever cast this card? No, but I've heard it's an absolute nightmare to play against as a commander, too. It is not too late to splash up Minsk and Boo, and that's what we're going to do. I will easily take... I wish I took the Ketri to Triumph now, but still. There'll be more... There'll be more Triumphs. Oh if, oh, if it isn't the one jam. I was like, look at this one jam emote. And then it was the one jam himself. That's funny. That's funny. It's the dude with the thing doing the dude with the thing. Yeah. What? 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 Huh? What? Hmm? I think you take Savannah. I was going to take Wooded Foothills. But now I'm tempted to take White Plume Adventurer. It was banned. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it turns out that mechanic is really busted in 1v1. I'm going to take White Plume Adventurer. Worst case scenario, we don't splash this. Best case scenario, we do we splash. Do. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going for, you little, you little biscuit. It's funny because there's only two mm. options. Just cut white. Actually, let's do that. Yeah. All right. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Or hear me out. Cut everything but white. <laughs> That's worse. I think. Okay, mm. so this is our deck so far. Fuck, now I gotta pull these cards back to actually get an idea. I guess I could have kept Coalition Relic in there, huh? Uh, Spell Slinger is pretty okay with blank stuff. There's, just, there's a card stuff? called Spell Slinger in the set in this pack. Elites. Spell Binder. Smart. I was also thinking Rex Sage. I think Spell Binder might be better though. We'll go with Spell Binder here. Aggressive. We into white. Volcanic Island is great because it's a blue. 
but it also lets us splash for this this red here. I'd say it's a blue and a red. I wouldn't personally go that far. You understand? I built a Minskin Boo commander deck. Pretty fun to just make a big dumb idiot. I agree. Yeah, like every other commander deck, there's definitely always a fun way to build them. Me and Katie to... made a big dumb idiot. He's our son, Michael. God. It's weird that my mom's younger than me. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I didn't even work there. I was just looking for something to press. So, Can we see the Simic version? <laughs> That's a solid meme. That's an oldie, but a goodie. I like a thieving... I yeah. That, that thing puts in work. I played a commander game where someone, like, on turn two, stole one of my artifact lands. You never got... You never recovered. You financially... Yeah, I actually found the, where they lived and killed their family. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the cops are going to come. No, if you won't. shoot someone with boo, is that 10 commander damage? No, because I don't think the boo is... The boo is not the commander, you know? No. You know also, saying? um, commander damage specifically has to be combat damage. We're going to take Tundra. So if it's not attacking, it don't work. If it don't attack, you don't get no slack. That doesn't. I like the rhyme scheme, but it doesn't work for the example, you know? It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. Who am I to judge that? Anymore? Oh, God. You ever it's drink, watery. like, a little bit of water in a drink, but the, that water is literally just, like, it's water, but, like, with a little touch of whatever was in there, and it's just, like, it's a weird thing where it goes from like soda, a little water down, a little more water down to like, this is garbage water now. Yeah. It's really a jump. Me you know, not like it. Man, planeswalkers can't deal commander damage. That's interesting. What if there was a planeswalker that said like Dang. plus one, deal one damage to each opponent? Is that considered commander yeah. damage? Commander damage is only combat? Only combat. Interesting. Also, you still can if you like. You put you, the sword? Giada's Luxor or whatever it is. Yeah, or like if you're playing Gideon. Well, I don't think there's a Gideon that can be your commander, but if Gideon could be your commander and his form attacks, then that would work. Or also there's there's a, like a, a couple ways to animate him. Oh, yeah, Gideon's. Yeah, you could just act animate a Gideon. Does Michael still do shots of Mio for fun and not... Let's see. I got strawberry watermelon for him right here. No. Come on, Michael, open up. Oh, Vensar came back? And Ewit? Oh, dang. Makes your mouth all sour, you know, like it. Sour. Like not in a good way. Yeah, like you're like it you're, like it cuts it open and you start bleeding because of all the citric acid. Yeah. Smart. Uh there just isn't a form of Gideon that says it can be your commander. I like answer a little better here. You can like usually just have your friends be okay with it, but unless a planeswalker has the text it can be your commander, they actually can't legally be your commander in the regular format. <laughs> Didn't who said that? Oh, why can't Gideon yeah, be your yeah. commander? Got it. Although I think that should be they should just change the rule to where Planeswalkers should be able to. They're legendary, essentially legendary creatures. Come on, we all know. I think the problem is some of them would kind of be a little too good, like Oko or something. They're legendary characters. But you could ban some of them. I don't know. I'm going to be in your wood, neck of the woods around some... That's so far out, man. I'm going to be in my neck of the woods every day until September, so... And... After that as well. In September, I might be gone, so... So next week... Where are you going to go? Oh, wow. Well, he's never coming back. So next week I get to go where David Cross is playing at uh, somewhere here in Fort Collins, and we're gonna go see David Cross. Oh, so I did accidentally take a Saturday shift, but it doesn't matter because it's a late night thing. So whatever. It's like eight p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Estes Park. Nice. We were just near there. We went camping. Not camping. We went to a cabin for like a little mini honeymoon. It's kind of camping. What well, is a cabin? It doesn't count. Are you sure? Well, who makes the rules? Your dad. I'll so, consult him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, it's funny. I almost forgot this is Avengers Cube because of the lack of the amount of power that's been opened by I you, agree. Or us, or whatever we want to call it. What do you want to call it? Which one is it? I don't know. Depends on the day, the time frame. Who's in there? Who could it be? What's a what? I don't know. Someone send help, please. <laughs> He's stroking out real bad right now. Oh, I like Boros Signet a lot. Again, it's a, it's a splasher for Minsk and Boo Boo. But. Don't talk about your butt, Michael. It's a family-friendly stream. No, it's not. And I knew you were going to do that. Damn. Oh, what about that? Oh, wait, never mind. We're not red. I thought we were red. You confused me with all your jokes. Also, this doesn't have any synergy with our deck at all. Uh, Ancestral Recall, make a guy draw three cards. It's pretty sick. Eh? Eh, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to take this Tri-Land that is three of our colors. 
that we can get with our fetch land that we don't have yet. But we'll get one. You understand? Three of our colors? Oh, because you're committing to the red. I got you. Yeah, we're just splashing for the Minskin boo boo. We're not black, boo boo. But Rogren Triome is a banana. It's a banana. Did Banger. we get a fetch land or no? Not yet. We will. See, here you go. It still might actually be worth taking. No, nah, I don't want to play an island or a mountain rather. So. You don't have to. It just could be a fetch land for other colors. I mean, I'd rather just take Riftwing Cloudskate, which gets two bounces with an Eleshnorn. What do you think about that? You can spend it for that too, right? Because it comes to casting it, yeah. What? Yeah. I just wasn't sure if suspend is cast. It enters the battlefield. It doesn't give a shit about cast. If a no. permanent enters the battlefield, triggers something, it doubles to triggers. It doubles to triggers. I'd say it was triggered. I'm going to take Hollowed Fountain because, it, wow, look, I'm, look I, I grabbed the Hollowed Fountain, but it picked up an Eleshnorn. Sure looks like an Eleshnorn to me, Bob. Yeah. Michael, let me ask you something. What about Minsk and Yogi? Oh, because Boo. I get it. What? But it's not boo boo. It's just boo. Yeah, but uh, it's a stretch. But I think this is what they're going for. Yeah, Michael. What's the most you ever lost on the coin toss? You put that on the soundboard. Yeah. Uh, like two hundred bucks. This one's good too, right? Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. That's good. It's true. It is the children. Consider. This is only mountain and plains for us. So I don't really care about that as much. Worldly also, Tutor is interesting. I think we'll just take the Consider, to be honest. Oh, don't lie about it. <laughs> oh, actually, Three Wind Inspector is a banger here, right? Two, well, yeah, even, I mean, two Treasures, baby. Hard. Two Treasures, baby! <laughs> Woo! Ooh, rich! What is this? Opium Frog. <laughs> it's weird that those memes go from wholesome to like really racist no hmm. I like a chart of course this guy doesn't chart of course he makes little plants <laughs> chart of course he makes little plants what the fuck does that mean because he picked chart of course and then you said that's not chart of course and I'm like no because he makes little plants he doesn't make plants though he makes colorless things so you might Who say does? what the hell are you talking about the other, the green guy. The gringo? The gringo. <laughs> <laughs> the Verde guy, you might say. The Verde guy? The Verde hombre. What is happening right now? The guy that manifests top of your library. You were, you were hovering over him. I don't know his name. Big I stupid green guy. The big stupid gringo? No, green guy. I really like. I think questing beast is. I mean, this this goes with the last turn, but I think this is just such a better card. Uh, yeah, we probably don't have any more food drops anyway. There goes my. Look, let me fix it. Can I fix it? There goes my jacket. It's disappearing in the ether. What's that thing? This? I've never seen that card. It's new. It's a flicker wisp, but instead of it's got. It's got a fatter butt. Sugar dies. It's got a fatter butt, but it can only target your stuff. So weird, right? Protector. The giver of runes? Yeah. Because we got twenty seven cards here. I guess consider is not great. We should probably cut ancestral, you know. It's probably for true. the meme. What uh, if we did just leave it on our sideboard just as a challenge? Is endurance something you want to play in main? No, I can see cutting endurance and bringing that bringing that biscuit boy in. Yeah, bring that biscuit boy in. I'm bringing him in, bro. I know you took questing beast, but double green. I wonder if we can actually cut both of these yeah, that's what I was and thinking. be a lot easier on our mana. Take it easy. Yeah. Even though acidic slime is very very sweety. You can board in, switch a couple landy poos. I guess I just play that mana dense double. Let's 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 see what our fixing like. Did we get blade splicer? 
No, we took no. Questing Beast over it. Now I feel stupid. Yeah, that's probably something we should have thought about, but that's not something that props well, can fix. Whisper good, yeah, whisper good elemental. Whisper good elemental, except with a W in there, you know, piece of wood. Oh, the old whisper good. Mike did some acid slime once. Fuck, that might have ruined his brain. Probably didn't help. I guess we do have Night of Autumn to fulfill that. Yeah, this actually seems good. I like Seal from Existence as well. Lord oh, it's like an O-ring. It's an O-ring with Ward 3. And it costs one extra white. Instead of two colorless. Man, they love putting Ward on stuff these days, huh? Yeah, it's, I think it's a really good solution to avoid Hexproof. Like, it's a great way to get around it while making things more difficult to interact with. Hexproof is pretty obnoxious. I'm tempted to cut a Flicker Wisp for the seal. But we do have... We have Swords... We have Wandering Emperor that kills something. We have Knight of Autumn. I don't know. I kind of I kind of do like Seal. I think it's very versatile. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, it triggers twice from Aleshnorn, too. Wow, that's really good. That's got to be correct. Or it's got to be. we got to put it in for something else, probably. How greedy is playing Minskin Boo? Not greedy at all. We got this, this, and this, plus this, plus this. Yeah, it's probably not. This card is bonkers. No, that's boo. It's Minskin bonkers. One, two, three. We need one more little cutterino. I was going to say time warp, but we have a planeswalker, so that seems... Time warp's a banger. You're out of your mind. Uh... It might, some random it might just drone. be Flicker Wisp. Yeah, we got the better one, right? I don't know if it's better. It doesn't hit your opponent's stuff, like I said. So then cut that, I guess. But I don't know if it's worse either. It's a 3-3 three, three flyer versus a... 3-1 flyer. There's Battlefield. X up to one target creature or artifact. It can only hit creatures and artifacts as well. Returns to the Battlefield under your earnest control thing makes sense. Yeah, so it's like a, it's like a basically a resto. What's that? What, I think about Tide Taker. I think Tide Taker's probably meh. What's it saying? What's it? What's its wordings? What's wording? What? What are you asking here? What does a Tide Taker do? Tide Taker. Yeah, what's tater. a Tater Tot do? Oh yeah, yeah, you probably. I mean, it's good because it gives us more to do. Yeah, it's fine. Ship it. I guess we also have this guy, so that seems fine. All right, let's sort by color. Two green cards and one red card. That's beautiful, man. We'll, be, we'll do one and one. Okay, quick question for you. I don't have an answer for you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white sources. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources. That actually seems great. And then one and one in case they path us. You know what I'm saying? When you made your one commander deck. Yeah. Why wasn't it Megatron? Because it's... What? Oh, do you mean Megatron the... Um, the magic card? Yeah. Well, there's two Megatron magic cards. One is Blightsteel Colossus, and one is the actual Megatron card. Oh, I meant from the... the Transformers. Oh, like. I meant the actual... The one that's... Like, I don't know, because I don't actually know what he does. But that's a good question. He's good. All right. Well, now we're waiting for our match, and I was reading Megatron. I totally forgot to unpause it. Uh, I think there's more than three green sources, right? One, two... Shouldn't there be more of the green sources? Where are the rest of the green sources? Polish and Relic. One, two, three. Maybe we don't want a mountain and we want another. I think we want another green source. I thought there was more. I guess maybe I just didn't count them. All right. Well, I don't like having two forests, but it'll have to do. Your opponent can cast spells during combat. At the beginning of your post-combat main phase, you may convert Megatron. If you do, add a colorless mana for each one life your opponent have. So if I attack for seven... I, let's say he gets through. Then I convert him and add seven mana. And Megatron Destructive Force is a 4-5 mm -hmm. vehicle. And as long as it's your turn, it's also a creature, so he can attack without being crude, because he's a Transformer. Yeah. Whenever Megatron attacks, you may sacrifice another artifact. When you do, Megatron deals damage equal to the sacrifice artifact's mana value to target creature. If excess damage would be dealt to that creature this way, instead that damage is dealt to that creature's controller, and you can convert Megatron. 
So you always start them on this side. You attack, you sack something to kill one of their blockers. They eat a bunch of damage. Post combat, you get like a million mana. It's really good, actually. You always you always cast them for four. Really? Yep. So like, even if it's like... But then a, you have to flip him from Megatron Tyrants to get the mana. So how do you get the... Well, it happens automatically. Well, if he's on this side... Well, so basically, if he's on this side, that ability's not there. Right, but he converts after you do the thing. So you attack, you sack, he converts during combat, flips to the 7 5. Hold on. If Does excess damage would be dealt to that creature this way, instead of damage dealt to that creature's control. So during combat, he converts. Yeah. So so basically, unless you don't sack something, he always is going to be the same. Oh, combat. so then before the post combat phase triggers, right. he's already this, yeah. and then he just flips again? Right. What? That's so ridiculous. Why would he do right, that? So basically, he's a four mana seven five that you sack a thing to kill a guy to deal him a bunch of damage and gain a bunch of mana. It's pretty obnoxious. I don't understand. I'm so confused. It's it's a lot of words. Uh, I've seen it played though, and I was confused by it too. But then when I saw it played, I was like, "Wow, that's really good." I need to add him to my Brea deck actually. I need to add him to my Brea deck. Also, I'm doing a little cheaty with Brea. I'm doing a rule zero deck. I'm going to do Yurion as a companion. Yurion? Yeah. You mean Yorion? Sure. <laughs> Yurion, Meon, you know, whatever. Because you technically can't have your deck over 100 cards, so that's the cheaty part. But. This is this is a little... This, this dude's a little shitter. He's a little thief is what he is. No, don't like that. Megatron Optimus Prime, but I, I see what you're saying. I think we're just playing this so that next turn we can play Alesh Norn. There's a couple other good uh, Transformers that are actually playable. Well, it's a good thing I bought four of all of them. <laughs> yeah, good thinking. Yeah, smart. I'm smart. Oh, God, look at this. I ramped them into this bullshit that they're going to do. Oh, God, they added the mana incorrectly. Oh, I guess I didn't ramp them into it. They just didn't want to take my damage. Oh, God, a Rex Age. That's so annoying. Oh, Leovold. Well, Nick, what I was referring to, you said Optimus, but we were talking about Megatron, so that's what I meant by that. Fun times. At Michael B. High. Oh, Super Fritz, I didn't know you had a son. Congrats. Is it the son of a sailor? Son of a son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. He said my Eon, not my son. <laughs> yes. See us later. Hey, you squint a little bit. It looks like an S, yeah? No. I don't think so. No. Well, you're biased because you know what it says. So I... One, two, three, four. Good job. Counted the right amount. The right amount. Well, we have Source of Plowshares in hand, so we just kill their Leovold if they want to do that. See you later. Peace out, bro. job posting You're like this seems great and then when you click on it it's like for being a nurse and i'm like why didn't you put that in the start of it why'd i have to click this i'm not a nurse can't do that not yet i believe in you there's a long road for that you'll and get, i have no interest so. you'll get there i don't think i will michael i already paid for your nursing school so i don't know what to tell you you're going i mean if that was true i would definitely be doing it <laughs> well great i'll tell your teacher that you'll be there on monday
I'll look big I out. think Monday you probably don't have class because it's holiday. But Michael, you don't know anything about school, okay? Nursing school goes up, it was every day. It's every day, bro. Even chicken Sunday? Especially chicken Sunday. <laughs> Twice on chicken Twice Sunday. On You're a nerds. Wow, that's Do you ever you ever just be like, man, Chris Furter is just mean, dude? Well, Best work, if I'm being honest. Uh, I'm glad you're being honest. I'm taking the initiative twice. What does the first initiative do? Secret entrance! Search library for basic land? Deal. No, that's pretty busted, actually. You probably said bussin? Yeah, it's pretty bussin. Pretty bussin? What's the next one? Put two counters on something or scry two? I actually kind of want to scry two, but two counters is banana forge or lost well oh wait you literally actually do get to go to the next level that's actually sick yeah dude i thought i would just like double try the first one and it wouldn't do anything it wouldn't bend them wouldn't bend 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 um i think we're gonna lost well here and we're gonna all cards is better than well it's crying fatness. but sure close um i think both yeah i'm definitely keeping both I'm just not sure which is going on tippity top. Who's going on that tippity top? I want the seal because I just want to be able to deal with whatever they have as soon as they have it. Do you want to take four damage, my little? Chris, I don't want to rain on your parade, but you could have called him Fritz before, technically, because it's his screen name as well. So. No, only after you meet in person. Fascinating. Is Kerwood still there? Did he just leave? We did a stip and he was like, see you later, nerds. I'm leaving. He ain't even in the chat. He's gone. That dude just peaced out. So you got Rabble Master on top. Maybe he went to the club, you know? He might have went to the club. It's earlier there, you know? At the club? Yeah, it's only like eight or whatever. Time has nope, no meeting at the club, nine. you know? I don't know. I'm drunk. Chris is like, oh man, hockey season's over. I need something to fill my fill my my hockey void. So I pick baseball. What is going on? Dream halls. I don't like anything that's happening. I'm very afraid. Well, I wouldn't know anything about doing something over and over again that you like. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of 4chan. That's worse. This is so strange to me. Okay, I like this hand. Oh, we can actually pitch we can actually pitch Thieving Skydiver to cast oh, Spencer. Tricky 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 tricks. So they should have revealed all the cards that they have in their hand. Palancron, Imperial Seal, Jessica's Will, and Orcish Librarian. One, two, three, four, five, six. And where's the, what's the seventh card? Do we know? Um, it would have been the top card, so Rabble Master. Okay. Chris, you're watching hockey? Get out of here. I don't believe it. Can't be true. Okay, so we know they're full hand. We got that full grip. What's the final dungeon thing do? Exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn. You're just casting that. And you discarded Orcish Gulp, Orcish Lumberjack. That's fine. You still have to pay the mana to cast them, right? <laughs> like, they're not free. And they're also not in your hand. Oh, I guess you can do that. This deck right. seems wild. No, they are free. What? Green Palms makes them free besides pitching. No, I'm... Wait, what's happening? This is on the stack? Oh, and you cracked... <gasps> you just cracked Lion's Eye Diamond to play this? Oh, wow. Um, that's brutal. Yeah, that's... It's going to be harder to fix. <laughs> no, you get to keep that in your hand, and that's your last card. I will bounce this... And then bounce my coalition relic back to my hand as well. 
think we're going to win this game. Well, that did feel good. And next we get to play Gearper and blink this twice. Oh, no, it's only going to be in play once. I feel like he took all of his juice, you know. It does feel like that. And they're drawing a Bloodstained Mire with no cards in hand. And we're probably going to deal them five, right? Trap is... Well, we have one oh, we can't go to trap. We have to go to arena or stash. I guess we're going to stash. <laughs> Colonnade, eh? Colonnade, eh? And we can also just elite Spellbinder and take it. <laughs> so then it's exiled. That's fascinating. One, two, three, you can four, also five. Also, exile their dream halls too. It's true. You can actually use their <laughs> dream halls to cast all the things you want, and then get rid of it, which is pretty brutal. Does Delisnorn double up on your seal as well? What did you say to me? Does, does Elisnorn double your seal trigger? Yeah. So I can exile like this and this, or oh. this and this. Yeah, I do that. And then I can blink. Is it, is it own or control? You control? Okay. But then I can blink this guy. Yeah, so we're going to do a bunch of stuff here. We're going to play one. I'm actually going to just play regular mana. Um, let's play Spellbinder. So that costs like eight now. Um, let's cast this by discarding this. Yeah, yeah. Seems good. Uh, get rid of you. And you. Okay, we just won the game. <laughs> That'll do. I've seen enough. All right. Oh, wow. I kind of want to bring an incinerate just to kill Leovold. Or Dak Faden. Yeah, that seems good. <sighs> I'm not even cutting one. I don't even care. What do we got here? Good enough. All the colors of the wind. Are you doing okay? No. I've hit the point of a... Uh... I can tell you haven't said anything. You're just like this. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's getting worse. It's like here. a wall right I'll help you. It is kind of helpful, actually. Now you're all weak. No. No? <laughs> no? no, now I'm just wet and tired. <laughs> I'll stay wet. <laughs> oh, wow. They're Imperial Ceiling on turn one. I could rip another energy drink, but I think my heart would stop. My so. energy drink. That would be cool, though. What a fucking stream that would be, you know? <laughs> Died. Oh, shit. That dude's heart just stopped on Twitch. What happened? Well, he didn't have a lot of sleep the day before, and then he went to the gym. And then the next day, he didn't have a lot of sleep, and he went to the gym and had a stressful job and then drank 700 grams of caffeine. So it really makes a lot of sense, doctor, why he died. <laughs> None of us saw it coming. Shocker. That's a shocker. You get it? Yeah. Orcish Lumberjack with a swamp and a Spire Bluff Canal. Okay, so if we Ancestral, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Widow is a nine cards. We'll draw a card for the turn, puts us up to ten. We can go Plains, Coalition Relic goes down to eight, so we don't have to discard one. But we have things to do. So I'd rather just not do that. Like, if we didn't have any plays to make... Right, that's what I mean. Like, I'd rather not waste a card off Ancestral because we have plays we can make. He said stop it. I don't know about Get some what. help. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, she didn't like the shocker, I think. Oh. <laughs> Never mind everyone. I'm sorry, man. We were in her instance and taught her what that was. Did she not know? Yeah, that was one of the things that was funny about it. Well, it does have a an alternate name as well, which is much worse. So, you're right. <laughs> All 
Oh, they didn't do anything. Well, this game's over. Dude, we get to play Minsk and Boo here. You want to see it happen? Yeah, okay. I wish Magic Online had sound effects. They do. They have shitty ones if you want. Boing, boo. No, I mean, like, I like this when it's actually played on, like, Arena. Right, like, you mean, like, Arena sound. It's like, like, real sound. Go for the eyes, boo. Like, it's actually kind of fun. You know, it's a oh, fun he says? Little, yeah. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Boo's a little shit. Boo's a maniac, bro. Haste and trample, so aggressive. Yeah, bro. You don't even know. I guess in one v one, that's just like really hard to beat alone, right? Oh my god, I quote that Michael Jordan quotes my girlfriend every time she does anything slightly silly. <laughs> Yeah, Boo is actually pretty magical, right, Chris? Intergalactic, planetary, planetary, intergalactic. I'm going to see if I can find the sound effect. This looks like it would be it. Go for the ice, Boo! Go for the eyes! Rusk! <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. That was pretty fire. Are we letting this resolve? Sure. I don't have an answer, so I don't really have a choice, if you know what I mean. Oh, wow. That's cool, though. Look at all these fun facts about Minsk and Boo. Where? In the chat. <laughs> Minsk and Boo is from D&D. &D. That's true, yes. Hence why it's in the Baldur's Gate... Uh, or the Commander Legends. Yeah, it's a Baldur's Gate set, right? Is this guy just attacking? What are you thinking? How dare you? First of all, how dare you? Do I have a way to get rid of their Timeless Lotus? I will not make another Bouncer. another boosel. Bouncing it actually seems pretty brutal. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Rusk! Okay. So maybe I bounce it. I think that's probably a good idea. I'm really glad I came up with that. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. I'm glad you had no help with that. I didn't have any help. Who helped me? <laughs> no one. Put three counters. So I can make him a 7-7, seven, seven, or I can sack boo to deal four damage to this guy and, and draw four cards. Hard choices, you know? I don't really need to draw a card, but... What do you mean, need? What the fuck are you talking about? Do the thing that wins. Everything wins. Not always. Go for the eyes, boo. And we won the match just by bouncing that. Chris, why don't you just tell me what Matt Mercer doesn't do the voice of, okay? It'd be a shorter list. Who else does Matt Mercer do? I bet he does a bunch of Avatar voices. He does like a million things. He's like, let's find out. It's a lot. If you're not sure who it is, it's probably Matt Mercer. <laughs> uh, he did oh, he does, he does Overwatch stuff. I didn't know he did Jotaro. <laughs> Jesus. It's going to be a long list. Attack on Titan. Yeah, he's in a bunch of uh, anime, too. Remember that, Pic that Piccolo meme where he paid off people's layaways and then and people were like, another instance Piccolo's where Piccolo's the, just the, the better dad father, than yeah. actual dads? Yeah. No, he's definitely the best dad. What was show. Goku doing that he couldn't raise Gohan? I forgot. Like, why wasn't he there? Well, there was the part where he died. So that was, <laughs> he was dead for a while. <laughs> that one he could oh, control. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, there's an argument that like, He's always saving the world, but also, I mean, like, there's an argument, kinda... like, who cares that you're dead? Raise your son, stupid. Well, also, like, there's the fact that, like, he kind of brings his own challenges to Earth because of, like, he signals it or, like, challenges Yeah, because he keeps, get, he keeps getting swoller, and everyone's like, oh, I can beat him. They never do, though. Well, but, sometimes they do, but it's But rare. they fuck everything up, you know? Yeah. Come on, bro. Just leave my planet alone. I'm still tempted to watch... Uh, the new show? He was charging up for like 47 episodes. And that was just the first season. 
Yeah. If you want to watch it nowadays, you should watch the one without all the filler. It's a lot. Oh, yeah. Satisfying. That's what I, I've watched Dragon Ball Z Kai. It's very. Yeah, if you watch satisfying. Kai, it's actually like kind of a decent show to watch these days. Like, it's not the best anime ever, but it's pretty good. I mean, there'll be like three episodes in a row where, where Goku and Frieza are just charging up their weapon. They're like, they're blasts, and that's it. Yeah. They're just they like, how long that. is this battle? Has it started? I don't even know. Also, one thing that even Kai can't fix is like they use a lot of the same frames over and over again, which is kind of boring. But those just probably. Like a timing thing. Like also, I'm gonna be honest. Mr. Popo is an extremely uncomfortable oh, character. No, it's, it's so yeah, it's, it's real bad. Awkward and disturbing. I will say though that the Second without the filler, character. the fight between Frieza and Goku is like some of the best anime fighting like ever. It's just like a really good like you, if you just want to experience the show, just watch the Frieza s- s- part and just stop after that. You're good. I feel like watching DBZ about the seventy percent charging up feels like you're missing nah, out. You're actually gaining time. <laughs> please, please no. Let's put this guy in the in the this guy's going in the hyperbaric chamber. Look at you knowing the references. Good job. <laughs> Good job. But I've watched a shit ton of Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah, name all the Dragon Ball Z characters. God, yeah, that's hard. I can't even do that. There's like a. That's like naming all the Pokemon. Name every single Pokemon. Michael, let me tell you something. Okay. Go for the eyes, Go. Go for the eyes, Rosk. Hey, Rosk. On what's the he end? saying at the end? Rosk. Probably a reference we don't understand. I imagine. It's too bad. I feel like the chamber is the reason he didn't raise Goten. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm so tired of this guy. Accessor Recall is worse when they got this guy, you know? I don't know, naming all the Pokemon is definitely way harder. There's definitely way more Pokemon than there is. That. <laughs> I've seen some of the abridged. Those series are pretty funny. If only Goku spent 47 op- episodes charging up to be a good father. That's pretty funny. God damn. <laughs> Fucking brutal. It's not very good, is it? At least Vegeta's just honest about it. You know? Have you seen the Team Four Star Dragon Ball Abridged? I don't know what that is. It's so no. Where it's, uh, they're like a YouTube, an old school YouTube series that would like take animes. They would like water them down to like very short amount of episodes and they would dub them with ridiculous voices and funny things. It's pretty good. Although I think some of it's a little cringe now, but you know. Yeah. Things don't age well, you know? <laughs> yeah. There's, I think there's some jokes in one of the series that was kind of like, Oh, it's a bit racist. That does not surprise me. Mm. Sacred creature, Minsk and Boo, deals X damage to any target where X is that creature's power. I think we're just making our little boo-boo. Yeah, make your boo-boo. I'm making it, bro. <laughs> yes. Make him big. They have, wow. I don't like they have five cards in hand. Sometimes Chris is sweet, you know? Wow. Chris, you, you old, you old rascal, you. Just when you think he's gone, he pulls you back in, you know. That's what he does. He wears you down with 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 insults and hard knocks, and then he just just brings you back up, you know. Dude, if they untap and just go like Wheel of Fortune, I'm gonna cry. If they go Time Walk, I'm gonna cry. Time Twister, I'm gonna cry. 2008 internet humor does not did not age well. Oh no! Not only because of like the cringes and like a no no thing, also in the like just not that funny. A lot of them. Yeah, I think I think senses of humor have become more advanced. I think humans have just been exposed to so much comedy that they're like so much more advanced. That's always true. Though. Yeah, I guess so. Like, there's definitely a lot of stand up com- comedian stuff that like doesn't hold up anymore. Okay, this is all fine. What did they discard? Oh, fucking Christ. God damn it. Like, even, like, Carlin's my favorite comedian, but, like, even some of his really old stuff, like, actually isn't really that funny. Like, the 70s stuff. Strong Bad is a banger. 
strong bond. It's timeless. Cool. Let me guess, you're gonna make me discard this? Roll home star runner. You got it. Are you having a good time? No. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Me have bad time. Well, you're definitely blocking here. No. I don't know why they did, did that. that. Yours was free. Mm. Okay, okay. Having me on up and play is just better for them. But I agree. I mean, I don't know. I don't know it'd be enough for us to uh, get back in the game, but. I mean, we got some flyers. I don't know. I mean, I'm killing this guy. Kill him. Big kill. And then we're going to top deck um, something cool. Ancestral Recall, so that's going to be cool. That is cool. Yeah, I guess we're not dead. Just didn't feel good. Swords to Plowshare. Also, I forgot he has haste, so like, he literally just lost his Omnath for nothing. Right? Right. Seems bad. Deck, your face, your face. And we get to kill his Dak? I don't know, man. This I mean, is... they have a lot of cards, so there's that. Sure, but I got f three creatures on board, and next turn I can sack this to deal four to something like Leovold and draw four cards. And you got three on it, you know? Plus you got a Swordsies. I do got a Swordsies. Good. What's his... Gucci. I was like, what's his third ability? I'm like, oh, he doesn't have a third ability, which mm -hmm. is probably for the best. Salad Fingers is... Oh, God. I'm going to Google Salad Fingers now because it's really awkward and... Do you remember this? Yeah, unfortunately. I like rusty spoons. <laughs> I like to touch them. <laughs> the feeling of rust against my salad fingers. Okay, please. <laughs> please. Oh, Jesus, God. Ah, oh, God. Those are the oh, days. God, I wish I didn't remember. <laughs> yeah, look what you did, Chris. You caused this. It's your fault. Yeah, God. Oh, God, they cracked that immediately. I guess they're going to Wrath of God and then play Leovold. That's my guess. That's little Frankie's guess. That would be bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fractured Identity. That's pretty good. Don't like that. I mean, it's not good. But we can kill it. Actually, if they put counters on that, we just kill them. We sword the plowshare. No, I guess sword the plowshares gains them life. That doesn't do anything. Oh, we should have done it in response to the ability. Ah, I just missed. Five, six, seven, oh, eight, sword nine. Oh, yeah. We only have nine on board anyway, so it's not actually a win. I mean, I mean they could attack right. here. We could just kill it, right? Give me a flicker wisp. My kingdom for a flick a wisp. Your whole kingdom? Wow. Char course, huh? So I think we get rid of this guy. Kill the Minsk. Draw two. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Do kill you. Probably just kill both planeswalkers, yeah? Yeah. Attack yeah. Ren. Attack Minsk and Boo. Attack Minsk and Boo. Screwed up everything they got. This little army's going the distance. It's a pretty solid army, man. Don't be, don't be rude. Got a water flapper, an angel, and a hamster. That's a thing. A water flapper, an angel, and a hamster. It is a solid uh, quartet. It's a solid quartet, even though it's only three characters. Tritet. Sure. Sounds good. I didn't know quartet had to be a certain amount of things. It has the word quarter in it. Mm. <laughs> Smart. <Makes> sense. <laughs> it's all Marsh, coming together. <laughs> so we know they have Marsh Flats and Leovold in hand and then five other cards. We get to play Gideon next turn and maybe make an emblem if we really want to, you know? Can't say that yet. What? That we Might can happen. You're right. 
I feel like we're holding up pretty well for having had our whole hand discarded with an ancestral recall in it. Yeah, so they did. I'm sure they fumbled there for sure. I'm sure they fumbled for sure. Not very good, is it? Nah, it's not very good, is it? Like losing after Leovold and the hand thing is seems like a challenge. Well, there was about a two turn clock. You know what the best part about them having Leovold is? We still get to draw a card a turn, bro. <laughs> Got him. Oh, what are they doing? Leovold again? Nope, there's a red mana involved. Oh, they they realize they cannot cast Leovold with the red mana. I've heard that's true. Wheel of Fortune. Looking into it. Bumblebee tuna. Okay. Yeah, Bumblebee tuna. Yes, Bumblebee. What? Who cares about any of this stuff? I feel like the deck just plays a bunch of cards that are good, but not very good together. So I can play both of these. Cool. I think I'm just going to make an emblem. I like it. That guy's got trample, you know? That's pretty cool. He do got trample, bro. Bye, Giddy. See you later. Let's make sure to crack this on their turn. So it works. Do they want to go to two? It's up to them. The power is yours. They do want to go to two. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if vlogging really does anything for them. No, I'd be surprised if, like, well, you know what? They have Marsh Flats and four other cards right now. I can be angry. So unless they got a Wrath effect, I'd be surprised. Okay. I guess you're going to have anything. You can have whatever you want. I fumbled grips you people wouldn't believe. I don't know, man. I'd believe it. Done a lot of mistakes. Buddy, I know you. I'd believe it. I could spill any drink at any time. I believe that. <laughs> You're goddamn right. It goes around on the shirt, too. Or the keyboard. It cost me like. I think they're trying to figure bucks. out if they have a card that they can use to win the game here, and I'm not. Yeah, they're not really snapping it off, so I feel like we're doing all right. And if they wipe the board, like, we still have Clue and... When they tutor and it ends really quick, it's a bad sign. Oh, the, oh my God, the ice oh, drop. Yeah. Yes, I was looking for this the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Jesus, God. Did you just drop some ice? I did, yeah. Did it fall out of your oh, mouth? Yeah, yep. yeah, I want to make it big. Yeah, make it big. Okay, you ready? <laughs> That's fucking incredible, man. Hold on, Mike drops gum? Like everything's falling out of your mouth, man. <laughs> How many videos are there? Everything's just falling out of your mouth. I think there's only two, but who's to say, you know? Okay. Did you just drop your gun? <laughs> it falls out multiple times, <laughs> yeah. and you keep pushing it back in. Yeah, it's good. And it still keeps falling out. Sure. I knew they were gonna. I knew they were just gonna wheel again. I'm just like they're just gonna get wheel of fortune, but then they're gonna have three lands after that. I mean, if they couldn't, I guess they. But like, wouldn't you have gotten whatever card you're looking for? Yeah. Like with the demonic tutor, like. Trying to get their storm count higher, but then they wheeled, so that doesn't make any sense. So. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! That's what I think of that. I, I didn't want to hear that, I just wanted to hear the boo, you know? Let me see that boo. Okay, you have five cards and four mana. Do any of them help you? What's this? What just explain to me what just happened? Nothing. 
Well, it hit my arm. So whatever it was, whatever just fell out of your mouth. It was ice. Yeah, it was ice. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, you got to take your never. shirt off. Oh, sick. Hold on, like this one is it's your yeah. Name. This one you're wearing like a gray shirt. Mm. Yeah, man, this is two different instances of just ice just dropping out of your mouth. We won this game. They wheel of fortune with Leovold twice, and we won this game. <sighs> is this match one or two? This is match two, right? Really, either they cheated and then didn't just concede because they know their deck can't win, right? Like that was an interesting. Little they didn't tidbit. know that. They never knew. Saw it all, though. We saw it all. Maybe they're trying to build storm count, and they have like tendrils or something. Maybe. 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 I don't think they have tendrils. Non I don't know how many. I don't know. It's actually shocking to me how there are so many things falling out of Michael's mouth. Spicy Takis? Yeah, I want, there were two different versions. There was also a fajita version as well, which I, I thought was really good. Let's try this for science. I'm going to take out Giver of Runes. They don't seem to have much removal. It's not like, you know. They just taste like cheesy chips, like a, like a less spicy, sharp Dorito. Yeah. I'd rather have regular Takis and Doritos than cheese Takis. So imagine you're me and you buy a collector booster box just to add the collection, add to the collection, none, none the wise. I bought it from a vape shop, but never had issues before. Well, this box's cards all reeked of smoke and wouldn't you know it, serialized Ragavan. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. I wish I could open $5,000. Or whatever it's worth. I don't know. Let's find out what they're worth. They were, I think they were at one point. No, there's one Ragavan that is worth five thousand, and it's the um the the secret layer one that's like oh, really the, really it's rare. It's like the one of one or whatever for that tournament. Okay, so I guess serialized is not going to do it. Yeah, it's this one Ragavan, okay. the um secret layer showdown one, thirty three hundred. Serialized, there's ten, and the cheapest is twelve fifty. So that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good investment. I wish I found an extra paycheck in my pocket. Is it is it damaged by the smoke? The smell count as damage. Just put that put that bitch in some rice. <laughs> the solution is put it in rice. Yeah, rice time. will just pull out all the smoke. Break your arm, put it in rice. Chop off your toe, put it in rice. All right, Michael, we get it. You vape. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it still worked. Yeah, it still I don't worked. know why, but it did. Yeah, those are not as good as Doritos. Oh my god, they love demonic tutoring. I bet they're getting Leovold. I got spicy Doritos. They're pretty good. Give me a little Sorry, Mr. Tetsu my Tetsuka was 452. Ragavan was, was only 9. Got it. Yeah, I often get the serialized cards I open confused too. Oh, How much would serialized number 69 be worth, you think? Probably a lot. It's a good question. And before clip of Takis falling out of Mike's mouth. <laughs> well, we had two and we got perfect score so far. So That's I, gold. I probably shouldn't get greedy, you know. No, get greedy. Knock yourself out. What do you think they got with their demonic tutor? A land. No, they got a Leovold and they're going to play a forest here. You ready? I'm waiting. I believe you. Oh. Mm. Wow. So they're going to strip mine something. Next turn, they're going to play Crucible. Strip mine is in oh I was gonna say incredibly greedy but I guess it's just a spell in their deck right it's just a spell in their deck bro it's just a spell it is governor I'll never be they're gonna play crucible we're gonna play knight of autumn and kill their crucible this is what's happening that'd be cool <sighs> boom crackalaka ready oh it's a Leo Uncle Leo. I guess we can seal from existence it. If we must. Correct. Draw your card, bro. Draw your card. 
your last pathetic card came. <laughs> we do need to hit one land, though, in order to... Because they're, I have a feeling they were saving their Crucible until they can actually cast Strip Mine. So now they're going to go Crucible, Strip Mine from the graveyard, kill a land. So we're going to really need to hit one land here. Okay, maybe not. Well, maybe still. I guess you get to untap, so. It's free. Anything can happen. Oh, I put a wheel in the yard. I don't care. Like, they... That Leovold's the gone, yeah. They don't got the guy. You don't got the guy. They also didn't do anything. Except for play a Godless Shrine, so... Fascinating. Well, they did play a Frantic Search. That was something. That was absolutely nothing. Hmm. Philosophical argument, you know? Philosophical. That's my... Yeah, <laughs> that's my, my co That's all philosophical. <laughs> this is going to be a land. And we're going to feel so good about slamming it down. Felt so good about slamming it down. The prophecy has been foretold. Bumblebee tuna. Why does he keep saying that? I don't know. question oh colonel of comedy i definitely wasn't doubting you by any means that'd be a really weird thing to lie about also if you did like good for you man you lied about it <laughs> you got away with it you it just doesn't make sense to lie about because it it's like yeah that'd be it's silly. Just so oh a tef tarifi oh wow stop it get some help a little tarifi. This guy's got a lot of the banned cards from formats. Mint scan boo. Mint scan boo. Oh, that'd be real. Mint scan boo. Mint scan boo. Mint scan boo. I didn't get him. That's okay. I guess it's still fine. One, two, three. One, two, three. Are you okay? What's the matter? Something sad? What's the matter? What's the matter? Tell your mint scan boo. Okay, your your choice. Hey, Bumblebee Tuna, if you're watching, sponsor. <laughs> uh. Oh boy, so best tuna there ever was. We can play Relic and then play a three drop, or we can play Nornals. They sold our soul for a cat of tuna bear. Tuna bear. Frank's having the night zoomies. <laughs> <laughs> he is kind of having the night yeah, zoomies. Wow, sounds about right. Wow, the night zoomies. Fighter of the day zoomies. Wow. Did you understand that? I understood that reference. Fantastic. I think it's just a Lesh Norn. Just? Okay. What if they have fractured identity? That's going to feel bad, right? Yeah. Let's find out. What? Banker. Smart. Spell banker. Do your banking. Hmm. So you're thinking Bumblebee Tuna is going to pay to watch their tuna fish fall out of Mike's mouth. Yes. So good, you'll go crazy and it'll fall out of your mouth. Did tuna fish just fall out of your mouth? Whole fish. Oh, ancestral vision? It's going to be wild because tuna fish are giant. So. Oh, fortune. I don't care about any of these things. I guess I'll take Marari's wake. That's a scary one. More like Mirari Sleep. That's a scary Jimbo. Their hand is actually pretty bad, though. Ancestral Vision doesn't do anything. Sacred Foundry doesn't do anything. Ren and Six is pretty good against this guy, actually, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I remember that everybody already knew about Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out. Roll that beautiful... Hang out the... Bring out the Coolmans and bring out the worst. You know that song? No. You know the fucking Hellman's jingle? No. I was born too late for the mayonnaise commercials, I guess. <laughs> By the time I was growing up, everyone already knew about mayonnaise. So they didn't need that. Everybody already knew about mayonnaise. So like, you know what, guys? We don't have to make commercials anymore. Everybody knows about mayonnaise. We can just stop. 
It's a good point, man. You know what's Ring. funny is that joke I made is just a thought I've always had about like when there's commercials for like Coca Cola or something. Jesus God. Everybody knew about mayonnaise already. <laughs> Sorry, we're all mayonnaise out. Don't say crap, it doesn't count. It's generic shit. Jesus. Dukes. Another one. You can't even name Possible. It's like having a commercial about the concept of bread or carrots or something like that. Bread or carrots. You pick. I think I have randomly seen like a YouTube commercial for mayonnaise and it's like, hey, it makes your salads fun. And it's like, okay, whatever. Wow, I really like my salads being fun, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I mean, people just need mayonnaise as an ingredient, you know? I'm going to buy it. There's... <laughs> You can make it on your own, but it's a lot of work, so <laughs> probably not happening. Doesn't taste that much better, you know. You got bread? Wow. So they played this and they played Sacred Fountain, which is the ancestral wheel and wherever they drew with big teff. I remember seeing commercials for milk as a kid and being like, milk isn't even a brand. Who isn't aware of milk? Yeah, that's a fair point. I think that was more like the the lobby for the industry or whatever. Oh, the milk lobby. I mean, it's a big, thing. Big milk. <laughs> that is a thing, unfortunately, <laughs> as weird as it seems. Oh, yeah, big milk. <laughs> yeah. Chris, what video are you talking about? Big Milk was my nickname in high. Uh, never mind. Wow. By the time I was growing up, everyone already knew about mayonnaise. They didn't need that. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, everybody knows about mayonnaise now. You guys did great work. So we can pack it on up. Holy crap, man. That was freaking hilarious. Oh, they're still not doing Okay, great. They're not seeing it, which is all I need. <sighs> series? Oh, wow. Mitchell should watch those videos. You guys are hyping me up. Oh, he just sent it. What's happening right now? Chris sent me a series of videos. <laughs> Oh, I think I know where this is going. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> I like that you played your land, then you played Omnath. I'm not sure I understand anything that's happening right now. I think they might have a good deck, but may not be the best at playing the game. This is my impression as well. Would you say that's the impression that you get? <laughs> Old Jimmy Riftwing. Good to see Jimmy's doing good, you know. Too. Dude, I wish we spider yeah, right here. But it does. <sighs> I know. So get wrecked. Getting old sucks. You suck. Yeah. I'm getting old. Shoulder problems, knee problems, back problems. I guess we'll hit the round soon. six. I guess we'll hit the Tefri. I don't even know what's happening anymore, man. They still got a pretty good lock on us right now because we just can't put down things fast enough. I actually thought this guy was going to have haste because I've it's always had haste. Sometimes it does. It didn't this time. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I think we're going to lose this round. Uh, no, there's not a fourth game. It's only three. I blacked out the first game. Maybe. This is game three, right? Uh. 
Sure. Uh, I don't know if Sphinx was just better. I Like I said, I actually played this under the impression it was going to have haste, and then we can kill Ren and Six. That's why I did that. It was a mistake, because I forgot it was only, it only gets haste when you unsuspend it, but that's literally the only way it ever comes into play, usually. Um, uh, Consecrated Sphinx would have been fine, but <clears throat> we're anticipating a point where they get Leovold back. And now they're just going to steal our fucking Coalition Relic, which is most of our blue mana. Yeah, that's fucking brutal. I guess we can flicker with, but it goes back to the owner's control. It's owner's control. That's actually really good. Great. Yep, now they're going to strip mine something else. Cool. Please get rid of my forest. Yeah, heaven forbid I was actually able to play the fucking game. game stupid a fucking game is right bro i liked it when we had more mana that was cool me too man that was cool you're right you remember the days you know when they made the biscuits in the mana make those biscuits in the mana that cooler when you killed back your shit back that would be cool because he's kind of good right now the way he is you know yeah even too good maybe maybe Wow, I didn't even think about that. That was a good point. So we're not I mean, we're not dead, you know, but it doesn't feel good. I guess we're hoping they don't have a crucible. It'd be really unfun. It's stupid at night. Well, I mean, they already have Ren and Six, so it's basically the same as having a crucible. Oh, yeah. It's coming out again. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Got to hook up on a robot spine. Let me know. Didn't you get back surgery, bro? God. They've drawn 11 cards more than us. Oh, I need like seven more surgeries. Sure. You got it. So long, Knight. Must be Knights. We should probably get another MRI. Why are you just going to get them regularly? Well, it's been a while since I've had one. It's been a while. <clears throat> like that Sane song? I'm technically at the point where I could see my other spine dude and be like, hey, shit's still lame. I don't think so. What can we do about it? Therapy hasn't really worked. Well, kind of, but not really. Doesn't stop me from having a normal life, but it sure sucks a lot sometimes. It sure sucks. Don't, I, it feel ouchy. I don't like it, you know? You mean the like of the ouchy, huh? Yeah. Also, it's like a pain that's very... You know, it's like your whole, it's your back, you know? So no matter what you do, there's no way to, like, lay in a different way to make it not hurt. It just kind of always hurts. No matter what you do. They also have four minutes on the clock, and we have 14. So they've literally taken 10 extra minutes this game. Oh, essential oils. Oh, I wish I thought of that before. <laughs> For extra identity. Cool. <sighs> it was not... Must be nice. Like, it, there's a point where, like, you just concede because you're like, I don't have any desire to play the game. Yeah, Wait. What? Wow, there is another game, and they only have four minutes to win it? Oh, I would have definitely played that out. I thought that was the end of the match. God, Michael was right. Oh, my God. I'd say that you should check, but there's no way to check on this program because it's fucking terrible at certain things. Actually, Questing Beast seems really good. Why isn't there somewhere on the screen that says, like... I agree with you, actually. This is match, you know? Look what I'm doing, you know? It's right around here. I actually agree, and I was like, I keep thinking, like, is there a way... There's got to be a way to, like, find out what match it, match it is, right? Like... Cool. Yeah, keep it up, man. You're doing really good. Uh, We'll keep this hand. We'll ship the time walk. I guess Infinity can tell you by the the, the bot. You have to use an outside program. <laughs> Amazing. Just incredible. Gotta say it, but land destruction, not very fun. This is why I don't have strip mine and wasteland in my cube, because it's just not 
fun. Like, I might not hit a third land, then I might not be able to play the game. So. <clears throat> yeah, like, sometimes I'll see on Twitter, someone's like, well, I like to play, like, land destruction and commander. And it's like, well, well then... going to get overrun tomb and play run and six and get wasteland back. I have no desire to play with nope. you. Okay, good. Sure. I mean, they have to win in three minutes, which seems very unlikely because they're kind of slow and they also just don't have... They don't have fast win conditions. Right. Yep, cool. (laughs) Fantastic. Got Ancestral Recall and Coalition Relic in hand. For threats. But they can't play Leovold with these two, so that's nice. Or those three. Well, they can get... I mean... Oh, there's... Um, Well, there's no state where this turn they could play. Right. Three minutes on the clock, huh? Sweet. Having a good time. If we literally lose game three with them having three minutes on the clock because we just couldn't hit a third land because they get turn one wasteland, like, I'm going to lose my mind. Hmm. Already at 12. (laughs) Taking eight damage. Interesting. They don't play anything. I mean... I think you're probably joking, but like, there's a reason why they moved away from that design as a game because they Agreed. realize it's fucking miserable. I, just... I mean, we're just keeping remand up here. If you want to like not do anything, I, I'm fine with not doing anything too. The time is on you. Oh, they took another two. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna kill it. You can draw your card. Nobody cares. Little Billy. Little Billy. Come on, let me draw my card. Yes, I'm gonna draw my card. Oh, wow, this is gonna be... Yep. Nay. Yeah, Wasteland is a little more fair, but... But it's like, there's no point of having Wasteland. I guess Wasteland's good against, like, creature lands and stuff, right? Yeah. Are we going to win this game? I mean, looking good right now. It is looking good. Threats have very little time left on the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've also established they've made a lot of mistakes, so they're probably more likely to make more now. So maybe it's coming up Millhouse, you know? They got seven cards in their hand. Let's see what they got. Show me what you've got. Snuff out. And you took f- f- four? Look at the trigger, right? Yeah. They're going to five? Jesus, that's like one and a half questing beast hits. Wait, why didn't they take five? How does this work? Why does this... They just cast it, I think, right? Oh, they didn't have mana. If you can tell some people have four. What? Am I missing something? Maybe they, had the wrong they played one. Teferi. They tapped out, they tapped five for Teferi. I counted it. Should they not be at a much lower life toll? Yeah, I know they were, but they weren't at 13. They were at 10. Did they gain three? Oh, they gained three off Leovold. Okay, that's what happened. I, yes, guys, I know. I know you can pay with life. I thought they were at ten life. Wow, you guys are really, really something. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Inquisition. All right. Well, not gonna let you take that without a fight. You got it. Bloodstained Mire. So now this is your. F- uh, Teferi is not in your hand. That guy's not in your hand. Are we just going to wheel here? What did you make, Fatter? Your mama? <laughs> Chandra? I don't, know people, why is that so I don't know why that's in the cube. I have no idea. I guess it's kind of good in, like, aggressive red decks. 
This is not that. Yeah. No, I don't think it's good enough. <clears throat> so they have Thassa's Oracle and Wheel of Fortune in their hand. That's interesting. Well, they are starting to build up a board that might be able to kill us fast enough. What? These get sacked. Oh, yeah. And they have two minutes, and I have a questing beast that just kills their Chandra and can't be blocked. It does seem good. I agree. Oh, and let's kill him in two hits, potentially. Uh huh. They don't block. Which they can't block. They can't. We, yeah, right. That's how that works. Wild and crazy. Green. Two, three, four. Attack your face. In your face. And kill your Chandra at the same time. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a good that's a good play. <clears throat> so they're at four, they have to have an answer for a questing beast. So they basically have to play Tefri for like seven. And then tuck this guy. I guess. And they still have to take me down from eighteen in a minute and forty five seconds. Something like that, yeah. Wheel of Fortune, you got it. That's not the best hand, but. Yeah, it's not good, but. Just breaking my habit. That's I pretty guess good. Maybe they have some combo with that Circle they could draw. Is their only danger here, maybe? That Circle's in the graveyard. They had to discard it. I mean, they have a minute to, to win, like. A minute to win it. They don't make a lot of guys, though. One, two, three, four, oh. six, seven, nine, twelve, and twelve. Sure, I get three cards. I mean, that's like the best they could probably do here. So we got to try to manage our clock. And get us to death. Not the best. Yeah, they can probably death pick for this game if we play. Mm. No, they can't because of their life total. Don't like it. Yep, I wish I didn't draw one, two, three, four, five lands. I wish I had more cards that were threats in my hand. That would be cool. We have a flyer. But yeah, that's true. Don't we just make an emblem, play the flyer? If he doesn't have an answer, he dies next turn, right? I mean, I can just make the emblem next turn. Right, yeah, yeah. okay, fair enough. I'm gonna draw some. Oh, we can't draw cards. That let's not do yeah, that. Let's not do that. That would kill us. That would, in fact, do the kill. Maybe we attack still? Just to waste their clock? Oh, yeah, we're definitely attacking. Yeah, there's no reason not to, right? Like, we're not gonna lose from life, so. I just wish I knew what my last two cards were because that would make my decision a lot easier. Really? Yeah, I guess he can't attack Gideon. I just don't feel like that's something he's going to do. If they attack Gideon with a pile of guys, then they're not going to have blockers. And then they just die to my tokens. That's true, I guess. <sighs> cool. That can do that. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Thirty seconds on the clock, dude. Yep. Got that can make you draw a card. Please play faster next time. Like it's fucking unbearable when your opponent has ten more minutes on the clock than you do. It's extremely frustrating. Why do you have brain freeze? Like, brain freeze is so weird. I have frantic search and brain freeze. Like, okay. Yeah, I don't think his deck was good. He just had a bunch of random cards that, like, sometimes work out together. And, like, he had to have such a series of, like, hits, and he got them all. It's really annoying. Like, Dak might have actually been the only way for him to actually kill you there, and of course he had it. 
Yeah, if we knew it was game two, I would have literally played it out, and we couldn't have lost. Like, he had four minutes, and he still had to, like, win the game, and he wasn't close to doing that. I only conceded because I thought it was game three, because there's no real way to say, like, to see what game you're in, which is super weird, because this, like, like, up here it says match three, but it never, it doesn't tell you what game you're in. Like, you'd actually have to scroll up and be like, how many times did roll day one come up? Uh huh. Because it's such a weird thing to like a basic thing that should be in your game. I don't. Yeah, and if I'm like, okay, maybe I can go here, or like wherever the thing is. I don't even know where it is now, to be honest with you. So you shouldn't have to hunt first. <laughs> I agree with you, like this, I guess. And I'm like, uh, oh no, it doesn't tell me what game I'm in at all. Okay, so I guess if I forgot and I had two really long. Like game one and game two are really long, and I just forget what game I'm in. Like I just never get to know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that pretty much literally costs us the game. So that's yep. Cool. Especially when you have clocks, like yeah, the bot knows, but the and the actual program doesn't. Sick. <laughs> it does say game one. Wow, that's actually great. How does it know? Like, it feels like it has to be pulling from somewhere, and I just don't know where that's pulling from. It uses its eyeballs. Smart. The robot eyes. Wow, oh, turn one bitter balls. You're supposed to know in your monitor, guys. Basically, mm -hmm. mono is all that kind of stuff. How does one know what game it is in Paper Magic? I mean, I guess you just look at your life pad, and you can say, okay, here's one column, here's another column, here's a third column. Also, in a real game of Magic, like, the shuffling up your board really sells you that idea. Like when you have to scoop up your cards and make a new hand and all that. When you do it online, it just kind of like happens automatically. Yeah, there's a lot more muscle me memory involved where you're like, okay, I know we've done this twice. Like, Yeah. I mean, you also keep track of it, right? But you keep track of your own life total as well. Like, in paper, you're keeping track of all your own stuff. Like, that's the thing. In Magic Online, I'm not keeping track of anything. I don't keep track of the match. I don't keep track of my opponent's name. I don't keep track of life totals. Uh, so, I mean, like, to have to keep track of that one thing is really weird. Like, we're going to keep track of everything, except the game number. You have to keep track of that. Yeah, funny enough, in real life, even if you use, like, the app, like, the app, like, you hit, like, the game ended, restart, or whatever... So it's actually still better that way too, which is funny. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Well, always great when you have an unfun match during another one. That's always a classic. actually probably one of the best things we could have drawn here, I guess. Yeah, but... No buts, Michael. Also, him being able to make an Elish Norn is going to eventually be pretty annoying. I mean, it doesn't stay that way. It just stays that way until the end of the turn, doesn't it? No. Nope, sure don't. All right, so they can do that now, and then my Riffling Cloud Skate actually doesn't do anything. That's hilarious. Fucking cool. What an amazing series of plays. Turn one, Bitter Blossom off of Chrome Mox. Turn two, Valky. Turn three, Mind Twist My Hand from Ancestral Recall and my one answer to your cards. Followed by the card I suspended not being able to get played because they took a Leshnorn from my hand and it drew exactly enough lands and spells to copy it. Good. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. That's <laughs> fucking magical to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what salt count means. <sighs> like, I want to time warp, but not having a guy. This guy doesn't actually do anything, so I guess we're just time warping. For, for like, no value. Like, just to draw an extra card here and see if... Oh, yeah, and this guy also comes down and does nothing. Sure. Yeah, it's amazing. The 2-2 two -two flyer. Yep, cool. We're just going to concede here. Awesome. This is less fun. 
Uh, it was just absolutely miserable. Absolutely miserable opening. Yeah, I think just also from the the other game into this makes it much worse. Yeah, like having to fight through wastelands and strip mines and not being able to fucking cast my spells because you're killing my lands and like discarding my whole hand. Like, I get it's the vintage cube for sure, but like, I don't want it to be zero fun, like zero sum fun game, you know, like. I guess. Until they him to Torak us on turn one off of Chrome Mox. Right, but it is a command. It's not a command, so it doesn't... There has been quite a bit of salt. You're right. I am an emotional human being with uh, feelings, and sometimes games bother me, especially when I... Like, I, if I'm spending, like, three hours playing Magic, like, I want to enjoy myself, and if I don't, I get a little upset by it because it feels like wasted time. So... I mean, yeah, sometimes you're going to see emotion come out and I'm not just a robot. Like, I'm not a frigid robot sitting here playing a card game. Like, wins and losses bug me sometimes. Like, I don't mind losing. I mind losing in games that I feel are not fun or close. Okay. You're right. I mean, but the truth is, like... Down here, salt is a way of life. So, you know, that's really what it comes down to, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's just frustrating, that's all. Like, I mean, I love the Vintage Cube. I love 99% of the games I play. 99? Whoa, buddy. Maybe that's a little high, to be honest. 88. 88. 69? Nice. What's this going to be? Phyrexian Metamorph, huh? Cool. That's about the fairest Metamorph I ever saw. I, I agree. I was like, okay, that's, that's fine. Or 9%? Definitely not 9%. I, I understand. I don't think you'd be doing it. <laughs> yeah, I actually vintage cube is my literal favorite thing to do on Magic. Um, I guess we'll do a whitey, whitey tidy. Don't do that. And don't say that. Yeah, I agree. It's a terrible word. What's a terrible word? Whitey tidy. Oh. Why not? It's terrible. It's great. Wonderful. False. True. Um. Anyway, I apologize for being salty, guys. I apologize for getting getting uh, frustrated. I think it just sucks when you're like 30 seconds away from winning. It's like the only reason you're winning is because I conceded early. And like you took an extra 10 minutes of this game. So I don't know. Wow. I think that's, uh, that's pretty good coming for you. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Apologize. We'll try to. I'll try to pick it up. My attitude, Michael. Bet. What are they doing here? Yeah. I, I mean, we knew this was coming, obviously. They're always going to have it. At least we have a board this time. That is better. Yeah, against their six cards, I feel really good about that. <sighs> I'll be honest. After I said I was going to pick it up, I didn't expect Mind Twist every single game. <sighs> It's like when I played Pioneer for the first time in a long time. I was like, this seems cool. And then be the fucking game. there's just like turn one thoughts. He's every game you play against. And you're like, this is not as fun as I remember. That's true. I mean, we still have a board. You were right about that. Sometimes I'm right. I mean, ideally we draw Knight of Autumn. Kill their library. Kill their library? They're gonna die on no cards. Ooh, that's actually not bad for next turn. That is a good that is a good duo right there, my man. Well, maybe they'll mind twist again, I guess. I'm sure they'll go Snapcaster Mind Twist again. No, we'll just do him. I don't know, man. I'm really torn on Thoughtseize. Like, I think Thoughtseize can be super obnoxious, but I also think it's definitely a necessary evil. Yeah, because there are a lot of combo decks that are pretty obnoxious. Yeah, like it keeps combo and control decks in check, like I think it's send them on down to Rat Train. I mean, it's what it should be called. Have uh, you ever and been I should get royalties, but you know, call on the still rat a lawsuit. So. <laughs> no royalties. Yeah, unbelievable. If it did three damage, make it do five damage. That ten extra minutes that guy used, I could have been having a bowl of cereal as a tasty treat. 
It's true. We could be done by now. We could be out of here. I'm just wasting my life. Don't waste my motherfucking time. That should be. You that's did. a good one. All right. You got to take Minsk and Boo, and then we get to play Consecrated Sphinx. So I guess that's cool. Which they, which they probably do. And a big cry. Something like that. I don't know. I just work here. It's true. No, I also work here. Well, over there, but it's pretty close. Never heard of it. Hey, boo boo. Mike spitting Cheerios on stream. Seems like good content. That's true. Uh, a lot Did of people don't like the chewing mouth? experience, you know? Is he just putting a charge counter on that? Okay. I guess we're. I guess we're about done here. Let's yield until the end step so no mistakes are made. Put a chargey counter. I'm charging up. I want my bait to know. I bet they're going to kill it. You know? But I have to play it now. Do I just make another soldier? Yeah, there are five. Whatever. I think I had one new original banger tonight um, at the start. Banging at the start. The Mike B story. Those clips are great, but, you know, the bangers... <clears throat> You know, it happen all the time, you know? It's an artistic process. Never heard of it. Mm. Don't do it. Yep, never never don't have it. What? Fail to push it. What? What? Oh my god, we're going to refill our hand with this, dude. What? Oh yeah, they have cards that's brutal no they don't they, it's a may ability they chose not to <laughs> smart oh it is a may yeah i, I mean they're dead to this guy i thought it was like the may was just the paying the lie no you t at the beginning of your draw step you may draw two additional oh, that's cards that's bullshit i mean i guess i don't even really know to be honest with you i want to draw seven cards or whatever well that's a bum bum in my tum tum what does that mean nobody knows Wow, this is aggressive. If I have any removal for Shriek you're just dead. Yeah, Grease Fang is annoying, but it's also really fun to play, so... That's the deck I played. That's... Not... Removal. But they do have to block here, so... We'll make you block. Show me the blocks. Oh, that only happens if you get those hands, which I never did. So I played a more fair version. It, it usually didn't happen too often, and it was like later in the game. Oh, yeah. Shrieky deaky. Yeah, you turn three days brutal. Man. Give Gideon trample. Give me a freaking trample, all right? All right. If we, do, if we draw a non land card, we're, we're in good shape, I think. Gideon seems like he could have trample, you know? I don't know, man. Do you think Gideon's a chud? No, I think he's actually a good dude. Probably. According to the lore. I don't know the lore. I think Jace might be the chud. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bummer. Grist. Okay. I'm upset that you can't use that guy in a companion deck. A companion deck? Yeah, with the the one that's like all the same type guy. Like if you do creature. This is like his wording is like, yeah, he's a creature, but not technically, so you can't use him. What the fuck is he? What's he talking about? I don't have any creatures. Stop asking me to block. I will not be blocking. Come on, dude. Yeah, Mori. What I mean is if, like, let's say you do Mori and you choose creatures, right? Oh. You can't put Grist in your deck. Even though it's like, he's a creature and all he's a bug and all his zones. But technically he's not, so it's illegal or whatever. I don't know. Man, that trample would have come in real handy here. I would have gotten away for those, for those stupid bugs. Maybe it would melt itself out, you know? Maybe. 
Fingers crossed. I wish he had four lives, so then he can accidentally draw an extra card like we did, you know? Just play a land face down as a morph. That's a good idea. Unfortunately, they're going to ask about it at the end of the game. They're going to be like, let me see what that card is. Okay, thanks. I'm glad you think me of me as a Giga Chad, but I don't think I can agree with that. I don't think I'm that cool. Unfortunately. Or fortunately, you know? It's a high bar, you know? Yeah. And we're also at 20, so like... Oh boy. Chrome Mox, Chalice, City of Traders, Top, and Resto. This actually isn't that great, so... I have my moments, you know? I told a lady to go fuck herself on Christmas Day <laughs> once. That was pretty rad. How'd they play two lands? Place? Oh, because of escape lets you play a second land. That's right. For context, the lady deserved it. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you little bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. Wow, since he's top in Sylvan Library, talk about redundancy. Sound effects have been on MCGO since the literal day one. Since the dawn of time. First there was man, then there was moto sounds. <laughs> Before it even was a game i didn't have a fall up there but. that was good Bang. Bang. yeah nice what i don't think we're winning they're at three we gotta win you know unfortunately <laughs> looks like they can just keep blocking forever and that's Kind of a problem. I don't think so, man. I was born on the Moto Sound. You merely adopted them. Pretty good. Cerberus. It's also Moto M O D O. It stands for Magic Online Digital Objects. Yeah, it's an old meme. Little magic trivia if there. You're as old as dust like we are. That's what they used to call it. Grandpa will tell you all about the... Uh... They called it Moto. Sure, Grandpa. Eat your vitamins. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. <clears throat> Shit, I should have time warped first. I'm getting distracted. And my brain is fried. God damn it. They're going to blink this. Take the time warp. I don't like anything. Ah! He was upset. I guess, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. This might actually work just fine. What are we getting back? I don't know. We're getting back Minsk and Boo, but they might take Minsk and Boo and leave us with Time Warp. I don't know. Thought he had it back. He steals it again. Oh, they left us with the time warp. Fascinating. Yeah. It makes you kill them, right? I don't think so. Let him do shooty or something? Yeah, I can shoot this guy because I'd have to sacrifice Gideon to do it, though. Oh, Jaffer, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Something good. It's not terrible. It's than a land, so that's cool. It really is. First strike until end of turn. Makes a samurai. Exile a tapped creature. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you could probably get their little angel, which is kind of cool, but. Oh, good. I didn't activate Gideon this turn. Love it. Dude, I'm like I'm like misplaying left and right. This game's not going well. Well, the short answer is not too great right now. Yeah. It's been a rough last two matches. I mean, they just block with this guy, but now they have this guy to sack with Grist and kill Gideon. 
Also, I think we've been playing this cube match for uh, seven hours, so just this one. Last game definitely tilted me pretty hard. Yeah. No joke. Are you okay? It's too bad. Oh my god, what is this? 900 mana? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Tybalt. Cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Also, just annoying when like, your opponent just keeps drawing gas and you're just like, land, land. Yeah, I think their draws were like literally spell. Uh, Grist into Escape the Wilds. Um, they also had a Shriekmaw in there somewhere into Tybalt into F Resto. Like, there's just, just a stream of gas, and I literally have drawn like Time Warp Wandering Emperor in the last like four turns. Uh, I got a forest, you got a Gruel Signet. Great. That's probably the best I could hope for. They're not, they haven't attacked yet. Oh. All right, so long, City Traders. They have no cards in hand? Okay, that seems good, I guess. They basically have a hand still. Fritz, you usually don't want to call it a big sleep because that has different uh, connotations. I'll be dead. Yeah, yeah. You mean who will make the hibachi sauce, you know? Your mother. No, I don't think so. Mama hibachi. That's old mama hibachi. Okay, that's actually pretty good. This is an artifact. Patrick. No. This. It's Patrick. Okay, they have no cards in hand, so they are at the mercy of... <sighs> okay. Is there any way I can get rid of this guy with what they have or what I have? Is this a legendary Planeswalker artifact? No. I understand. Uh, okay, so this is not an artifact either. Okay, great. Good to know. Um, we could steal Divining Top. I think we just steal Tide Hollow Scholar. Yeah. Oh, a myriad. Thank you for the thank you for the raid. Really appreciate it. Yeah, sure you got it. Yeah, if we try to steal top, they just put it on top. <laughs> that would also be bad. It's not great. Top on top. You might say it's pretty bad. You might. It's not great. Not great, Bob. Let's put a plus one plus one counter on this guy. And let's attack your face because you have to block it. So now we just get to eat your resto for free. And then we have three creatures. <sighs> Boy, this is a game. This is a game. Is this game is this game two or game three? I actually don't know. I think it's game th hey buddy. three. I could have sworn we won a game. But again, I don't know. Really hard to say. Who's the chat bot? 
Oh, I guess I can hit. Yeah. Game two down a game. Okay, so I would have been wrong. God, we have a whole other game after this. I gotta go. My brain is fried. not long for this world. I was fried years ago. I stay fried. You've been playing that one. What's your favorite summer drink of choice? I don't think I have a summer drink. I pretty much drink all summer the drink. Excel and Artifact or a creature. Okay, you got one creature out of here. I drink what I want when I want. <laughs> Dish. I guess eggnog is like a seasonal. Something that's not around. You drink eggnog in the summer? No, I mean like... How do you even get what's it? A, what's a thing like eggnog where like it's only available in know, the long, summer? I don't think it's only available. It's like Long Island iced tea. It's like, what's a summer drink? Oh, that's just an alcoholic drink. That's that's available year round, pretty much. It's not available by availability. It's about things that are fitting of the, of the time. No one's drinking Long Island iced teas in the dead of winter. Like, you don't know me. I'm sorry. What happened? Oh, he exiled and he played it again. That see, that's good. Tibble's a card, man. Yep. Boy, this guy's really going back and forth here. Fuck, dude. Perhaps a watermelon drink. No, I remember what happened in game one. I don't remember if there was a game two where I won that. Like, I'm, I'm not forgetting about game one. They're going to sacrifice thieving to get rid of my 4-4. Man, this Grist is doing some work. Oh, they're getting rid of the... The Wandering Emperor. But don't... So now you drew, you drew an answer to, to the 4-4, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, a good answer. Fucking amazing, dude. Oh god. Do you think they've ever drawn a thing that wasn't gas? No, I've never seen it happen personally. Hmm. Cannot confirm. Further research needed. What am I gonna draw? Oh, interesting. That's surprisingly not terrible. Key back, yeah. Yes, green. One, two, three. Sealy McMealy. Don't use the greeny. Oh, I guess we still have a green here, so it doesn't really matter. But well, I don't think they've been using the top. Oh, they, because Sylvan Library does the same thing. Yeah, but better. I mean, you're looking at three cards either way, so it doesn't really matter. Like. One cost zero mana, though, you know? Right. But, like, you're just going to rearrange three cards and look at the same cards next turn during your draw step, so it doesn't actually do anything here. You might say two tops are not better than one top. Think about it. Who would say that? Me. Weird. It's a weird yeah. thing to say. I say a lot of weird things. I'm a little shit. Okay. Aggressive, but all right. It's fucking right. Jesus God, he's getting really angry here. So next turn they can do this to exile my boo, but I guess they can't play it. My boo. Yes, my boo. Sad. Like we just have to keep going for their face, otherwise they have no incentive to block. That's true. He got a big trample too, you know. He does, which is nice. But this guy is lifelink, so they're gonna gain three and take one so they're gonna go to five well shit what if they just don't block that oh, would be super it. cool bro they figured it out we'll get them next time oh oh it's only two so they actually go to four again that's actually great for us so four is the lucky number man that is the amount of damage we can deal so that's pretty neat any advice on fixing bad posture sit up I mean, uh, get a good chair. I would highly recommend not having a shitty chair that you sit in regularly. You don't have to go the Herman Miller route, but, you know, maybe a nicer one. You don't even know what chair they have, Michael. Stop shaming them. I mean, I feel like it's more of a rare chair because it's stupidly expensive. It's a rare chair. Give me that chair money. Although I would highly recommend it. Keep your core tight, you know? Yeah, keep that core tight. I mean... What did they hit? Oh, they exiled Minsky Binsky. 
Lady Splicey. Okay, well, everything is... Everything is sad. Yeah, you could also wear... I clicked, I don't know if you guys saw, I clicked yield until next end step twice, and it did not prompt me at the end step. So... Really, really like fighting these uphill battles. Oh, it's a planes. Fantastic. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, so I'd actually recommend not recommend the exercise ball chairs because it overworks your lower back. It can actually lead to a lot of problems. I I wouldn't recommend those at all. And humans can be deals X damage to any target where X is creature's power. No, I gotta just put the counters on here, right? Like Yogurt can help. Oh yogurt? Yogurt. Yeah, it's delicious. Uh, basic strength exercises help with that too. The more you forced out the the more you'll get used to just sitting like that. Dude, this is so grindy and exhausting. It is any target. Oh man, that's actually, that's actually great. That being said, I had no way to... I only made a 1-1 one -one last turn, so... Less cool. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, but, like... No, you should stretch before you one, lift two, weights. Five, six, eight, but nine. dynamic stretching. We've like only drawn swing. 9 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that correct? 10. So there's still seven lands in our deck, which is almost half. Doesn't seem good. Oddly, I agree with you. I think actually all we have left is lands, as far as I know. That's all That's all I can tell, yeah. Oh, good. Night of Autumn. Get rid of my... I guess that gets tied all this color back, and I don't care about that. Uh, overall, to end the rest of this, if you're going to do stuff physical, learn how to do it. Don't just do random stuff. It can be dangerous. Hear from a guy with a broken spine. No. Gee, I wonder what they can get with this guy. I bet it's going to be something good. Knight of Autumn. Double Knight of Autumn. Okay. All the way across the sky. And now Grist is finally gone, so I guess that's one thing we have to worry about less now. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Fantastic. <sighs> They did not deck themselves, so that didn't quite work. Well, w were they going through that turn? Maybe. Weird. That would have been weird. That would have been annoying. I'm pretty sure we're going to draw Knight of Autumn. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not going to draw Knight of Autumn because it's over here. That's good to know. Sure, get your Tide Hollow Sculler back. I feel when you go to drink the water, but there ain't no water in the cup. That's right. You're wrecked. It's good. Yeah, it feels, too, it feels awful. Dude, this, this match is... Exhausting. Are you bad at winning? What's going on? Oh, we're still 24. Okay. Right, but oh, they have six minutes on the clock, too. Like, That's too much. Are they going to get in there with one blade splicer? Sure. What do you think it's going to... What, what's it going to be? Four. What do we even have left that's good? I don't even know. Mm, there's a forest of sorts. It cycles. Yeah, okay. You can cycle into it, I guess. Forest. Yeah. That is, that's also a cycle. It's a now cycle. Papa is getting... You know, as soon as you said now, I was like, <laughs> it's going to be three lands. So. I am in... Mountain standard time zone. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So that turn we drew four lands. The garden and three and four, five lands. No, four lands. Three basics in the garden. Yeah, that's good. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Three lands now. I mean, I guess you can save the recall for them, but I feel like that's probably not good. I mean, maybe, but... But I also have four, so... Like, I have more faith in myself winning when they're at four than I do at, like, them going to five cards. So like, that gives them turns, five more turns, yeah. and they have an active Tybalt on the board. Yeah, that's plenty of time for them to still win. I guess Tybalt is actually helping our cause, though. I don't know. It's definitely an option, but... Well, it's a communist, you know? It's for the people. I'm sure I'll just top deck a Snapcaster Mage, though, and be able to, to give him a knock. What is the... Uh, stop passing is five. Oh, they're just going to put two counters on it? Sure, okay. Well, we get this. Pay one? Oh, because of Tithe Taker? Sure, I don't care about that guy. Whatever, you little nerd. Haymaker. That's actually kind of okay. I'm, I'm actually going to wonder if that's going to do anything here. Yeah, because, like, they don't have a flying blocker. They can't answer as a land, most likely. And they have to have an instant. Come on, so, man. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to seven. This can't do it. This guy can't. That's exile artifact or creature. You know, they actually can't currently deal with it. And they don't have enough to kill us. They're going to find life gain. Yeah, I mean, they're going to draw a wasteland randomly or something. I don't know. I don't have any hope left. Yield until the next end step, I guess. Don't do that. Don't give me hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You could have healing salve, you know? I mean, they're just going to play like Flicker Wisp, blink, blink this guy, and gain four more life and get a blocker. Yeah, something like that. Thraven Inspector and a Swamp. Thraven Inspector is good for them. It gives them another card. Well, I guess not because they know the top cards, but. <sighs> God. Dude, this is so. This is like really stressful as well. This is only game two. Stop it, Johnny. Yeah, make sure you check that third card. Wait, there's another game after this? Yes, we went over this. It's game two. I thought that happened games ago. <laughs> All right. This is in the seventh game? I'm so confused. You guys, fix his brain, please. It's broken. Yep, get in there. Oh, you're straight. You have nothing to threaten me with. I mean, you could just have a swords and we'll be sad, so. Although, I... Eh. He does die, he dies. Mana's rain? Riftwing Cloudy Boy. Alright. Uh, you're gonna put a charge counter on yours. That's fascinating. You have less time than I do. Maybe he's trying to get you to click through incorrectly. I don't know, man. This is weird. Two, three, four. Attack your face. It feels like it's happening. Hey. Oh my fucking Jesus Lord. <laughs> Don't laugh. Put it up for the finale, Jeez. I think I want Incinerate and I think I want yeah. Questing Beast in here. We're gonna take one of these out for another green source. Yeah, Planeswalkers and uh they play that guy on the front side. You kill that yeah, play bitch. him on the front side. Or the stupid bitch. That guy that steals a card. Whatever that guy's called. I'm going to... All right. Well. Yeah, this hand's actually not terrible. <sighs> yeah. He okay. Oh, Mox Emerald and Gedaxium Pro. What is... Is this another... Is this a different deck? Oh, God. Well, we saw all the other cards, to be fair. I do think we saw the Mox in one game. Did we? Yeah, I think in the first game. That was, like, years ago, though, so who knows? I mean, honestly, turn one Sylvan Library gives him a lot of triggers that he has to re respond to. That's actually a fair point. 
sucker. If we lose on the uh, thirty or less seconds, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, good. They. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh, they just put counters on? I thought they were going to get rid of my clue. That's interesting. Oh, they're really being aggressive here, aren't they? I mean, it was kind of free. You kind of see it. But they, are, yeah, it might be a clock thing. They might be doing a little barbecue. Who knows? I closed, I restarted it so I'd have, uh, so it wouldn't be lagging as much. Because that's still a thing, apparently. I'm not sure if it worked, though, because now it seems worse than ever. You're right. Are you sure? No. Mm, yeah, no blocks. That's a good one. Hardest program to run in Magic. Oh, we got a... This is actually very good. Because we get a basic island with this guy. That's a cool mono white deck you got there. Yeah, I feel like they're playing the white green deck, so... Weren't they like mono black with like... Mind... Uh, no, mind that, was, that was a different game. <laughs> nope, that was game one in this match. Are you sure? Yes, they mind twisted us and played Bitter Blossom. Can someone please confirm that? Because Michael's having a brain aneurysm. I think you are right. It's fucking weird. Yep, because our game two. Did they change their deck? I don't. I don't know. Maybe? It's very weird though. It does feel like that happened last week. That was not the previous round. The previous round was the Strip Mine and uh, Wheel of Fortune League of Old. That was round two. Yeah. Their first deck shit on us, though. I don't know if they switched. Look, I mean, we can scroll all the way up. Look. Oh, yeah. Swamp, Chrome Mox, Bitter Blossom, Falky taking our Mother of Runes. Uh, or, our, you know, the, not the Mother of Runes, but the friggin' thing. And then... Mind twist targeting me for three. I mean, maybe they are mono black and they just that was game one. Mono black kind of hand somehow. You sacrifice a creature, destroy a creature, or planeswalker. What did they sacrifice? Oh, they didn't do it yet. Okay, sure. They're going to kill the giver. Oh, okay. Is my guess. Or they're going to mess up. Or they're going to mess up, which would be mess amazing because they have two minutes on the clock. Mess up. They did not attack. Smart. There are, and there are exits to the southwest and the southeast. Forge, which is put two counters or scry. We're going to put two counters because that seems significantly better. Oh, they're at two? What? <laughs> I think they've just drawn a million cards. They must have been. They don't have a double amount of damage, right? I think they're dead. Because we just flicker with blink their creature and then we have two three power attackers. What in the hell? <laughs> what in the hell? It's pretty sick. I don't know how we've won this match. I'm like, oh, please pick the right creature. Or either way, it gets rid of a guy. Oh, yeah, because it's, uh, it's end of turn. Gotcha. Attack your face, attack. How are they at two? Did they really draw that many cards off Sylvan Library? What? You're not greedy, Martin. I don't know. Mike, what? 
Uh, gain four. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, now it's a two one though. That's fine. They still have two minutes on the clock. We're at sixteen. We have three three power creatures. They're taking three here. All of our creatures are lethal, and we have ancestral yeah, in hand. Five's on the turn, but what's the next adventure? Uh, what you mean the next it's yeah. trap target player loses five life that seems good <laughs> so expert, but, uh... you know uh we'll untap this guy oh they get to blink again and gain two more gain four more life so i guess that's that's good i mean this looks like some pretty dead there's no way we, we lose this game unlike round two there's no way that's we lose this game <laughs> Watch him take one more card because <laughs> no gamble, no future. The wrath that, would suck. that has to be what happened, right? They just played like Mox Emerald Swamp, Sylvan Library, and then replaced their cards. I mean, technically they just had like a black target hand. I don't know. But I don't know where their life went. They played Sylvan Library, turn three. Push Q, puts trigger ability on Silver Library. And then it's my turn after that. I don't get anything. I don't understand. Oh, they just went back down to five? They have to blink their own. Oh, they're dead. They just killed themselves. I think they don't realize what the next I, does. I, I, I agree. They don't understand what the trap does. You might say they fell for the trap. Resolve that, so I just get my guy back. That's cool. I don't know why I drew three, but like I'm not gonna not do that in case there's some kind of shenanigans. Yeah, I don't know why I did. Uh, trap. Oh, they did get probe themselves as well. So they did what? They get probe themselves, which also hurt them. Oh, that's true. I'm gonna be honest. I did not expect this four-hour match to be won by me but here we are so i'll take it and i feel like we won round two in spirit <laughs> so participation prize thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons i'll see you next time